and he's gonna do everything 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 ever he's gonna do everything that he said he said he would do mm. He said he would do. Thank you, Lord, for all you do. There is no one, no one that compares to you. Thank you, Lord, for protecting me. There is no one, no one who gets my glory. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is having a fabulous Friday, you guys. I'm so happy to see you guys today. This is Waxing with Donisha, and she ain't came to play. She be waxing every day, different foods, different ways. If you're new, hit subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. Come along for the ride. Why? Because this is the Waxer Squad. The Waxer Squad. The Waxer, Waxer, Waxer Squad. Y'all, what's going on? If you are new here, my name is Donisha. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button. I mean, you might as well. Um, if you are an oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for coming back because you know I love you so much. Today, y'all, we just sit. We just got some simple food, y'all. Fries and wings fries and wings okay so let's get into a quick moment of prayer you guys and we're going to get started dear heavenly father god we thank you so much for everything that you do we thank you for everything that you are to us we thank you for your continued blessings continued love and protection over us and our loved ones god we ask that you sanctify this meal god bless it that it may be nourishing to our bodies god bless those that do not have in jesus name amen Woo! All right, let's get started, y'all. So I got me some good old H2O over here. And I am ready. And I also got, I got some ranch. So I'm just going to do a little dollop of everything. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's having an amazing, I hope everybody's new year is getting started off, has been started off well. So with these chicken wings, I um I baked them. I put them in the oven. They look fried, don't they? Yes, they do. Let's get y'all bite. These are homemade fries, by the way. Mmm. 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 Mm. I didn't take my medicine. Mmm. Y'all give me a quick second. I need to take my medicine. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So you might say, what medicine is that? Well, I was telling you guys how earlier, how I've been having acid problems. Mm. I would have loved some cheese with this. But y'all, I might end up having to switch to the vegan cheese because, oh man. I haven't had an appointment yet, so I really don't know what's going on, but even when this chicken is good, mm. but even when, like, when I feel my lowest, like my energy and everything, like, When everything in my life feels like it's off, like, I feel like my health, is declining, or, or I feel like, um, my body is weak, or I feel like, uh, tired all the time, or depressed. Whatever I'm going through, you guys, it brings a sense of worship out of me. And all I want to do is be in God's presence because 
He's the only one that can heal me. The doctor can't heal me. Like my God can. He's the only one that understands why I'm, what I'm going through. So I don't run to people. I run to the presence of the Lord. And when it gets hard to stay in his presence. And I feel like my faith is fading. When all hell is breaking loose on every side. I run to his presence. Let me say something. Ever since the doctor told me that my ACL was torn and my leg. Looks like my leg has been hurting more. And I think that I think I was putting too much pressure on it. Um, I think I was putting too much pressure on it too fast. And um, I might have had a small setback. And it's important for me to take it easy because I think everything I do from day to day will determine whether or not I end up needing surgery. So I have to be cautious of that. So thinking about that all day. I also have a, a fried piece of chicken here, back here too, y'all. I fried some too, and it's dark like that because, y'all, I don't know why I like my chicken burnt when it's fried. <laughs> don't know why. But, um, um, I digress. It makes me want to burn to his presence. Because in his presence, I feel renewed. In his presence, I feel strengthened. In his presence, in God's presence, I can be weak. And I can cry out. I can tell him everything that I'm going through. And he's there. And I've had so much anxiety lately, you guys. I don't know if it's the new year. My mama says that it's obviously the enemy because God ain't giving me no spirit of anxiety and no spirit of fear. So I know it's the enemy. But it's like the more anxious I feel, the more I run to the presence of God. Um. Uh, the more down I feel, the more I run to the presence of God. You know, the more in pain I get, the more I run to the presence of God. And what I mean by that is that I bow before him in my heart and I just say, God, I need help. God, I'm trusting in you. God, I'm relying on you. I don't have anyone else. I don't trust in anyone else. I'm trusting in you, God. I know you're going to heal me. I know I'm going to be okay. And sometimes my symptoms will get worse even while I'm praying. But when it comes to my relationship with God, I have nowhere else to go. I have no, I don't have a plan B. I don't have plan B like other people do. Some people may run to drugs. Some people may run to liquor. Some people may run to sex. I've done all of that. And none of that fulfills me. None of it helps. None of it helps. It makes it worse. It doesn't make it better. So I run to the presence of God. And it's something about being weak. It's almost like God allows me to go through stuff. Because he knows 
it's going to push me into his presence. And when I'm not in his presence, I don't know what he has for me. I don't, I, when I'm not attentive to, to his voice, and his will and his direction, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going in circles. So sometimes he allows us to go through pain and experience pain. Oh, man. So that it can push us into his presence. So that it can slow us down. And push us into his presence. Sometimes it sucks. But what I mean by that. I don't mean getting into his presence sucks. But sometimes it sucks. That you can't have one without the other. Like you can't have happiness without sadness. You can't have success without you know, trial and tribulation. You know what I'm saying? You can't have, they both go hand in hand. You can't have a, a beautiful birth of a baby without the suffering and the pain that you having to endure through giving through labor. You know, there's always, they go hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? They go hand in hand. And knowing and thinking about that, I expect it. You know, I don't expect. Matter of fact, I, I'm at the point now to where even when it hurts, I'm saying, God, thank you for this pain. Because your blessing is found in your in your gratitude. God meets your needs when he sees how grateful you are. So I'm at the point because I trust in him. I have faith in him. I know he's going to come through for me when I least expect it. So now I just say, God, thank you for this pain. It don't feel good. But I know that if you allow it, God, it's going to work out for my good. And I also know that if the devil is fighting, trying to fight me this hard, something's about to happen. If the devil's trying to fight me this hard, something's about to happen. If the devil constantly stay on me, constantly, constantly keep trying to steal my joy, steal my peace, take my health, take my stability. Something's about to happen. Because always before you get an overflow, before an overflow of blessings come flooding in, you have to go through something. You're tested. <laughs> You're tested in the most extreme ways and you're tested in the most extreme uh, possible ways. But some of us, there are some of us out here that the enemy just don't let up. He won't let up at all. Like every single week you're going through something. That's when you need to begin to ask God, what do you know about me that I don't know? What do you see that I don't see, God? Because I'm always up against, my, my back is always up against the wall. I'm always fighting for my life. I'm always fighting for my life. So, can, so what do you know about me that I don't know about myself? What kind of game changer did you create me to be that I don't know? And just refuse because I refuse to walk out of 2020 without knowing it. 
And I refuse to walk in the counsel of any kind of ungodliness that is not going to get me to where I need to be. I might make mistakes. I might mess up. I might err. But God, I refuse to move until you deliver me, until you show me why you placed me on this earth, why I've gone through so much opposition, why the enemy has constantly fought me, fought, has been fighting me time after time after time again. Because the race is not given to the swift. The race is not given to the swift. Hmm. And to whom much is given, much is required. So you ought to begin to ask God when you're going through. You ought to begin to get into his presence and say, Lord, show me why. Show me why you put me here. I'm not moving until you show me. Show me why I went. I had to go through this. I'm not moving until you tell, show me something, God. And he honors that. Because he wants us, he wants us to get everything that, he wants us to get everything that he said that we could have. He wants us to get everything that he said that we that we could have. But a lot of times, you guys, we block our own blessings. Because we refuse to get into his presence to see what he has for us. And we go through a lot of unnecessary things. We take a lot of unnecessary turns. We have to experience and go through a lot of unnecessary tests. I mean, some things we can avoid going through. We don't need to go through every single test. Some things we can avoid going through by simply getting into the presence of God. So that is my prayer for y'all as well as myself today. That when you're feeling low, when you're feeling low, when you're feeling way down by the cares of the world, that you would get, that you would move. That you would get into the presence of God. That you would get. That you would get. <laughs> that you would move. That you would get. Into the presence, the presence of God. He waits for you. He waits for me. And he's gonna do everything that he said he would do. He waits for you. He waits for me. And he's gonna do everything, 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 everything he will, will, will rescue you. So get in the presence, rush in the presence, run to the presence, the 
presence, the presence of God. Oh, he waits for you. He waits for me. Oh, he waits for you. Oh, yes, he does. He waits for me. And he's gonna do everything, 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 ever. He's gonna do everything that he said, he said he would do. Mm. He said he would do. I love you guys so much. And just, just know that God is not a man that he should lie. And no matter what you go through, he will always be right there. Just get into the presence. Get into his presence. And I promise you, y'all hear these kids. These kids are a mess. So I got to get up out of here and mommy duty calls. I'm coming, baby have and my daughter loves when i sing too she probably wants to come in here and sing with me i love you guys so much waxer squad i will see you guys on another video i will see you guys monday i want you guys to have a blessed beautiful wonderful weekend bye waxer squad